God. I love everything about this place. Like, even the candles are amazing here. Uh, North 53, that's where I'm at. Um, top drawer. Um, oh, my goodness. Whatever they're making, it smells amazing here. But I think that's actually in preparation. Somebody's actually ordered the smoke and oak, which we got coming up. That's our last segment because I think that uh, Tyler's treating it like the, the grand finale of fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which I love. I'm totally cool with that. Yeah, I've never been to the restaurant before. It's basically, uh, it's our saving grace. It's, oh our, it's the only, only cocktail that's been with us since day one. It's I almost... actually just tweeted it out. And and uh, I got to give a shout out to Bacon Hound, who yeah. of course is like, it is the best cocktail in town, exactly. best cocktails here. So what are we making next? Right now we've got, uh, it's called the Black Moon, uh, another one of our house, house cocktails. So it's a creation actually by Sam here. Um, <laughs> next, to, next to the Smoke and Oak, it's our most uh, popular drink, which, uh, which to us was very, very surprising because it's a little bit, what we like to call is um, almost like a nerdy drink. Well, first of all, is it got sugar or salt on the side of that? That is salt on the side right there. Salt on the side of it, okay. And what is the history of this drink, Sam? What was the inspiration? Hard to say. I want to make something with mezcal and shrub. We had this amazing shrub on our last menu. Uh, it was a balsamic pear vinegar shrub. Wow. Um, it was so good that honestly we couldn't get rid of it. Yeah, we, yeah. Just, we had we, we had, had to make something it. else with it. Yeah. All right. So uh, I'll let uh, Ty talk us through what you're making here, or you want to talk us through, because so, uh, we're ready to make some magic. All right. So mezcal base. We need to do 1.25 ounces of mezcal. And yeah, for those who don't know what mezcal is, it is. Uh, it's in the same family as tequila, so it's an agave, uh, an agave based spirit. Um, basically how they do, how they make it though is, is the interesting part. It's basically like a smoky tequila. So they're going to be digging a pit um, and then they basically, they literally smoke this, uh, this spirit. So you're going to get like a nice smoky characteristic out of it, which is really, really nice. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, and amazing. Like I said before, very, very funky. That's being paired with the pear balsamic uh, shrub. I'm pretty sure we just got a whiff of it, Nick. I'm not sure, but I think that's what just came at us. That that's, smells that's uh, amazing. Yeah, okay, absolutely. so next up we got. All right, so three quarters of an ounce of the shrub. The, the famous, shrub. The famous shrub. shrub. Yeah. So if, uh, if you're not familiar with what a shrub necessarily is, uh, basically it's an old school way of preserving fruit. Ah. Right. So it's basically fruit, fruit, sugar, and vinegar. Grab me. Uh, yeah. Right. So in this one, uh, like we said, it's balsamic vinegar. Uh, we've got uh, demerara sugar, basically brown sugar. Uh, uh, Bosque pears, mm -hmm. I believe. Uh, that's pretty you much it. We let it. You didn't get that. Yellow bean. We let it sit for about four days and, yeah, and just voila. It gets so. amazing. Absolutely. Shrub. Shrub. Last it's ingredient. Fun, it's fun to say. Yeah, no kidding. Amaro Montenegro. So we have a nice juicy amaro. This is like the, the smells coming off this cup and this glass is amazing <laughs> right now. Like I said, we're trying our best. <laughs> Great. It's creative. Okay. And then we've got. Now I notice whenever it goes into this particular jar glass, they. Oh, why do you have? Why do you have that out? Don't worry, we're, it's, fun it's safe, it's, safe. <laughs> it's fun. We're, we're licensed professionals yes. sometimes. He sometimes. is, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> hey, oh wow, okay, oh wow, we're like, what are we doing here? We've got a quick, quick dehydrated lemon. Mm -hmm. Right, so you're gonna get a little bit of aroma off that. It's gonna sit on the edge of the glass. Caramelize um, some of those sugars. Caramelize right? a little bit of the sugar on it as well, right? The, fru um, the fructose, the natural sugars that you get in the yeah, citrus. Yeah. Um, and also, it's a black moon, and it's kind of black. It looks like a moon. It, it just it makes sense, right? It fits. You know what? If you're gonna have a bar at home, you have to have this this stirring spoon. This is like insta props that make you look like you know what you're doing, that you're insta pro. It's, it's official, yeah. It's official when you've got the long bar. <laughs> Absolutely. Spoons. I can serve properly. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. And would you just sip this? I would. Yes. I would also. Well, I mean, it's up yeah. to you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Bottoms up. That is black, black moon. And let's put on that black moon. Boom. Oh, there it is. Oh, my God. Yeah, this right. is why they're the best. North 53. Uh, there we are. The moon has entered the water. It's going to be a beautiful night. Full sky at night. Sailor's delight. <laughs> we'll be back after this. Gorgeous. North 53. Stick with us.